Hey YouTube, my name's Steph and my partner is a collector, which makes me a collector by proxy. It is the most exciting weekend of the year and so I thought I would share some movies with you guys that you could watch for this spooky time. Frank here is joining me today um, because I was feeling festive. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys the movies that we took out to possibly watch this weekend. Um, Andrew makes a big list of movies every month that we try and get through, but we were unable to get through the list this year, um, this month, just because of how busy we've been. So I took the few that we definitely want to watch this weekend. We may get to one, we may get to two. Um, we probably won't get to all of them, but maybe you guys can, uh, or watch some that we won't be able to. So let's get started. The first one on our Halloween movie list is House 4. Um, this is an Arrow video release of House 4. Um, Andrew actually did get to watch this one without me. So like the first one, the second one and the third one have nothing to do with each other. And then in the fourth one, they take the main actor from the first one, but they give him a whole new family. It's the same dude, same actor, same name, um, but they give him a whole new family and it's like the first one never happened. It's very strange. But Andrew did enjoy this film. They are wacky, crazy fun, definitely good a Halloween B-movie to check out. So we have that one. The next one on our list is Passion of Darkly Noon by director Philip Ridley. I know Philip Ridley as a playwright and his stuff is really messed up in the best way. Well, maybe not the best way. <laughs> This stuff's really messed up. I haven't seen any of his movies. This one is from 1995, I want to say, 96, 95. Um, and it's starring Brennan Frazier and uh, Ashley Judd and Viggo Mortensen. Um, so the kind of brief synopsis of this movie, uh, to give you guys an idea, Brennan Frazier is Darkly Noon. He is a young man. Um, who has spent his entire life in a religious cult uh, out in the middle of nowhere. This cult gets attacked, he gets lost in the forest, and Ashley Judd kind of saves him from, you know, death in the alone in the forest, dehydration, um, and she kind of nurses him back to health. Um, he has these feelings for her, he doesn't really know what to do, um, again, he's been in this very fundamentalist cult his entire life. Um, he has a lot of ideas of the world that may or may not actually be correct. And then Viggo Morrison shows up as Ashley Judd's husband. Uh, and I guess Brendan Fraser realizes he doesn't have a chance and, uh, Horror ensues. Uh, it's kind of a psychological, really trippy, psychedelically shot thriller. Um, I'm super stoked to watch this movie. Um, check it out. Uh, the next one is another one I'm super excited about that I cannot believe we haven't watched yet, and that is Possessor Uncut um, by Brandon Cronenberg. Uh, I am so stoked for this movie. Uh, this is sci-fi horror. Oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, it's a Cronenberg movie. Um, Brandon is a lot different uh, from his dad, but um, body horror is still very much a trend. I was a huge fan of Antiviral. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. But Possessor Uncut is on our list. I'm super stoked for it. Another one that is going to be super fun um, that we have is um, Hexen um, from uh, Criterion. 
I'm very excited. This movie is from 1922. It's a Swedish film. Uh, it was shot in Denmark. Um, and it's a black and white, silent, docu-style movie <laughs> with dramatized uh, scenes, like playthrough scenes, um, examining like witches um, and like the superstition around witchcraft um, from like the Middle Ages to the 20th century. Super, super interesting. This is supposed to be a fantastic film. I'm very excited to watch it. Um, and yeah, like who knew this stuff existed? Really grateful to Criterion um, for keeping these films alive. Uh, if you can get your hands on this, um, definitely check it out. It sounds super, super great. Um, and uh, Andrew is excited for this one. This one is definitely not my style. Uh, I'm trying, I'm really, really trying to like Gene Rollins. Um, but this one on our list is The Shiver of the Vampires by Gene Rollins. He had to put this one on our to watch list. Um, this uh, one is released by Redemption. Um, we, I think that's like where we get all of our Gene Rollins from. Um, we have quite a few. Andrew loves it. I want to like it. I know he's very artistic. I know these are beautiful films. I get why people like them. I'm not interested in just, I don't know. These films are just boring to me. Just a lady standing in a, a dead lady, lady standing in a field for 15 minutes. I, I just fall asleep. But if you are into horror art, um, n boobs, it, it, I mean, vampires, lady vampires, eroticism, uh, Gene Rollins, check it out. Uh, one that I am very excited for, and these last couple I am very excited for because I absolutely love Italian horror. And this one, La Donna del Lago, La Donna del Lago, also known as The Possessed in North America, is a, um, like a pre-yellow or a proto-yellow, like this is for before like yellow became a thing uh, in Italy. Um, People also pronounce it Gallo or Jallies. You may know them as Jallies. Um, but Yallo films are uh, absolutely wonderful. I'm a huge, huge fan of them. And I'm really excited to see how the genre originally started. It's actually based on actual an actual crime that uh, committed, was committed in Italy. And it kind of started that um, black gloved, uh, killer genre, which is super good. So I'm excited to watch this one. Uh, another one that's probably a bit more fun is, um, Beguini Horror. Um, so this is another Italian horror film, um, but this one is a bit different. Uh, this is a girl rock band. Um, <laughs> a girl rock band plays a, uh, some sheet music that they find, and it turns out the sheet music was from a violinist who sold his soul to the devil, and now they are cursed, and, uh, yeah, there's some crazy music in here, the lighting is very Suspiria-inspired, um, and I'm just super stoked to watch Pagini Horror. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. And last but not least, we have Deep Blood by Joe D'Amato. Um, I'm just going to read the back quote of this. Um, if you thought Joe D'Amato didn't have a Jaws ripoff in him, then you didn't know Joe D'Amato. 
super, super stoked to watch this movie. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, check out Joe D'Amato if you don't, but be prepared for really sleazy, sleazy films. Um, good stuff. So that is our watch list for this weekend. Hopefully we will get to a few of these for Halloween. Do you, have you seen any of these? Uh, are you interested in watching any of these? Um, are there any movies based on this list that you would recommend to us? Let me know. Uh, I am super excited and happy Halloween. Thanks guys. Bye.